Okay, hi. We're in the next video. Uh, in this video, we're going to start going over some uh, some input and some variables. So it's, this is really exciting, uh, I think. It's, it's, you know, basics are just, I think they're really exciting because everything comes out of the basics. So learning your basics is just the best thing you can do. So here's our, you know, simple hello, hello world program. We still have hello user, so change that back. Hello world. If you remember, it's the exact same thing we wrote out in the first video. Uh, hopefully you, you can understand this now. You see, okay, I see including that library uh, using namespace. This is the main. This is where things are going to start. It's going to output hello world. It's going to return a zero exit status for the main. Okay, that's real cool. Uh, but, but let's get in a, a little bit more deep here. So here in our main function, let's, let's do something a little different. Let's, uh, we're going to start doing input. So type, uh, okay, how about you type int uh, number, semicolon. So what this is going to do is int stands for integer. And there are, it's, it's called a data type. And there are uh, f uh, several different data types. And eventually you can even create your own. But that's way in the future, so just get excited about that. But for right now, just deal with simple integers. Integers, if you're unfamiliar, are whole numbers. You can't have decimals. You can't have like 0.5 or anything. And um, something you probably don't know about integers, at least, well, because usually it's not true, but for C++ programs, integers, excuse me, uh, integers take a, a defined number of bytes. So integers can only go up so high. I think it's like 32,000 and something. It, it, for most intents and purposes, you don't have to worry about it. But... Um, it might come up, so keep that in mind. Uh, but don't worry about it so much for right now. So int number. Number is not a C++ term. It's a variable name. I made it up. You can make this, you know, anything you want. I could call it, uh, you know, any anything. I mean, that's totally valid. I could call it as daz daz da dads. Um, but that's a bad idea. Let's just type number for now. Note the semicolon. It's very important. If you didn't have that, you'd you'd fail. So just have it. So this number, what we can do is now after we've defined this integer, we can start setting some number, setting, uh, you know, assigning some numbers to it. Uh, so we type number equals sign, then we can put in any integer we want. So let's go ahead and do 10. You know, that was real cool. And now let's, uh, Let's do some output with this. So let's see out number is space end quotation. And then we'll do another in in stream insertion and put in number. And then stream insertion and L. So I'm, I'm sure you can predict what this, what this is going to do. Uh, it, we defined a number, uh, an integer. And then we set that integer to the number 10. And then we are going to output number is... And, and then we're going to output the value of number. So hopefully it's going to say 10. So let's let's try it out. Open up terminal. CD desktop. G++ O. Hello world. Hello world.cpp. Let's, uh, let's wait a minute. Sometimes it can it can take a little while. There we go. Uh, let's let's run it. Hello world. Let's see what happens. Number is ten. Excellent. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. So this is really cool. We've defined some data, and then we've outputted that data. So let's let's make this even more interesting. Instead of assigning a number, you know, that ourselves in the code, let's see out. Please enter your favorite number. Let's make this a little wider. End quotation. And then let's not do a return just yet. So this is going to output, please enter your favorite number. And then we're going to have the user enter their, you know, their favorite number. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use cin. out was for output. cin is going to be for input. So then instead of, instead of this operator, we're going to use the opposite, which looks like that. It's going to, it's, I think it's called the stream extra extraction operator. So it's going to extract from the C in stream. Uh, and we're going to have that flow into number. 
So we're please enter your favorite number. We're going to have that fly into this uh, integer that we've allocated for. So this is really cool. Let's see out your favorite number is number. Look familiar? It's pretty much exactly what we just did. We're just having the user enter their number first. Now you might be wondering why I didn't add a return in here, and that's because after they type in their number, they're gonna the user is gonna push return, and that's how uh, it's gonna finish out that input. So it's obviously, or sorry, it's already going to have a return um, in that in that data. So you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's recompile our program. All right, that was much faster. And let's go ahead and execute it. Please enter your favorite number. Awesome, we got a program, it's already talking to us. So let's say my favorite number is 12. Enter, your favorite number is 12. Wow, so um, I really think this is actually really cool. We've already, in this in this second video, made a program that can, it has memory, it will remember what we output, and it's able to tell us what we inputted, you know, input before I think this is actually just really cool that we've already made a program that has memory um, this used to be like a really big deal <laughs> so I'm really excited about this so that's gonna be it for today uh, we're, we're gonna keep advancing in the next few videos and it's just gonna get more and more exciting so I'm excited uh, I hope you're excited and uh, I'll look forward to, to learning with you in these next few videos. Thanks.